Sylvia Plath, Poem's Death, a bio, 1932-1963. Sylvia Plath was an American novelist and poet. Plath met and married British poet Ted Hughes, although the two later split. The depressive Plath committed suicide in 1963, garnering accolades after her death for the novel The Bell Jar and the poetry collections The Colossus and Ariel. In 1982, Plath became the first person to win a posthumous Pulitzer Prize. Plath was born on October 27, 1932, in Boston, Massachusetts. Plath was a gifted and troubled poet, known for and credited with advancing the genre of confessional poetry. Born on October 27, 1932, in Boston, Massachusetts, to Otto and Aurelia Plath. Her father Otto, a professor of biology, died when she was eight years old, an event that deeply impacted her life and writing. Sylvia attended Smith College, graduating summa cum laude in 1955, published her first poem at age eight, moved to England in 1956 on a Fulbright scholarship where she met and married poet Ted Hughes. Their marriage was tumultuous, struggled with clinical depression for most of her adult life and was treated with electroconvulsive therapy, published her first poetry collection, The Colossus, in 1960, followed by the semi-autobiographical novel The Bell Jar in 1963 under the pseudonym Victoria Lucas. Her most acclaimed poetry collection, Ariel, was published posthumously in 1965, two years after her death by suicide on February 11, 1963, at age 30. She won the Pulitzer Prize for Poetry in 1982 for her collected poems. Opening Sylvia Plath and Anne Sexton were two of the most influential poets of the 20th century. Their confessional works gave an unflinching look into the depths of the female psyche and experience with mental illness. But beyond their iconic poems, Plath and Sexton shared an intense, complicated friendship in the late 1950s that was both supportive and competitive. On this episode, will explore the bond between these two literary giants and how their connection shaped their seminal works. Their intense friendship Plath and Sexton first met in 1958 when they were students in Robert Lowell's poetry seminar at Boston University. At the time, Plath was 26 and Sexton was 30. They quickly bonded over their shared ambitions as poets and their struggles with depression and suicidal tendencies. Their infamous triple martini afternoons at the Ritz-Carlton became a ritual where they would discuss poetry and life over drinks. Sexton was impressed by Plath's technical skill, but pushed her to find a more authentic, emotionally raw voice. Some biographers believe Sexton's influence emboldened Plath to tackle difficult subjects like her father's death in the breakthrough poem Daddy. However, by early 1959, their friendship had deteriorated into a rivalry, likely stemming from competitiveness and jealousy over each other's work. Plath wrote in her journal about their triple martini afternoons, breaking up, shared experiences with mental illness. Despite their rift, Plath and Sexton shared a deep, tragic connection through their battles with mental illness. Both suffered from clinical depression and made multiple suicide attempts. Their poetry served as an essential outlet to confront their psychological turmoil. Sexton recalled how they would fix their eyes intently on each other, soaking up the gossip and details about suicide methods, which she called their special language. After Plath's suicide in 1963 at age 30, Sexton was deeply shaken, telling her therapist she had the suicide inside her, as I do. Sexton would tragically die by suicide herself in 1974 at age 45, poetry as therapy. For Plath and Sexton, poetry provided a form of therapy to cope with their mental anguish. Their confessional works broke boundaries by candidly depicting women's experiences with depression, subverting societal stigma at the time. 
poems like Lady Lazarus and Wanting to Die directly address their suicidal impulses in an unflinching way. During their friendship, they found solace in their special language of discussing death and suicide through the lens of poetry. However, some argue that constantly revisiting her trauma through poetry may have exacerbated Plath's depression in her final years. But for both poets, the act of poetic confession seemed to provide an essential, if temporary, cathartic release. Closing While their friendship burned bright but brief, Sylvia Plath and Anne Sexton's intense connection, stemming from their shared struggles as women poets, left a lasting impact on their seminal works exploring female identity, mental illness, and the depths of human emotion. Their poetry continues to resonate by giving voice to experiences that had long been suppressed. Sylvia Plath's relationship with poet Ted Hughes. Sylvia Plath's relationship with her husband, Ted Hughes, was tumultuous and plagued by infidelity, domestic violence and mental health issues. Their intense yet volatile marriage had a profound impact on Plath's life and writing. Plath and Hughes met in 1956 at a party in Cambridge and quickly fell for each other, marrying just four months later. In the early years, their relationship was fueled by a shared passion for poetry and creativity, with each inspiring and supporting the other's writing. However, cracks began to surface as Plath struggled with clinical depression and Hughes allegedly became physically abusive, beating her days before she suffered a miscarriage in 1961, according to Plath's unpublished letters to her therapist. The marriage unravelled further when Hughes began an affair with Asia Wevel in 1962. Upon discovering the infidelity, Plath was devastated and the couple separated that July. Plath's mental health rapidly declined in the months that followed, culminating in her tragic suicide in February 1963 at the age of 30. In the aftermath, Hughes faced immense backlash from feminists who vilified him for his treatment of Plath and perceived role in her death. As Plath's literary executor, he controversially destroyed some of her final writings and heavily edited others when publishing her posthumous collections like Ariel, leading to accusations that he was trying to control her legacy and reputation. While their relationship produced some of Plath's most iconic confessional poetry, exploring themes of marriage, motherhood and mental illness, it was also marred by betrayal, abuse and deep anguish. The tragic end of their marriage had a lasting impact on how Plath's life and work were perceived and interpreted. Conclusion, Plath's vivid metaphorical poems like Daddy, Lady Lazarus and Metaphors explored dark themes of death, oppression and the complexities of womanhood. Her work advanced the genre of confessional poetry. Struggling with severe depression, Plath committed suicide at age 30 in 1963. She posthumously won a Pulitzer Prize in 1982 and is regarded as a pioneering feminist voice in 20th century literature.